Lizzie with the Lizzie T Show. If you just tuned in, we are on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. I'm here with the group Santerias. And I've been following those guys for a little while now. And they've been doing a huge success here in Toronto. So if you're here in Toronto visiting, they're playing all over the city. And I'm very, very excited to have them here today to talk about their career, their job, and their uh, new solo that is coming up. So first of all, I want everybody to introduce themselves. They're all from back from Latino background, which is amazing. And we're here at the festival, which is called Flavors of the World. So people from all over the world, uh, different cultures, different genre, are here playing their music and showing their talent. So let's meet the, the uh, group. And we have here Analia. Analia is fine. <laughs> Analia, yes. And Analia, what's your background? I'm Dominican. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Uh, Dominican. Uh -huh. And 
Oriana from Chile. Wow, and? I'm Randolph Jimenez and from Venezuela. Venezuela, and the guitarist? And Juan Dino Toledo, de Chile. And I'm so here, I'm so excited because this is such an amazing group. They've been doing so many beautiful things. And for the people that have not heard of you, and I think that's rare because everybody has heard of you, where you what would you say your genre or your um, your inspiration comes from, Analia? Uh, well, our inspiration comes from our backgrounds fused with the Northwestern music that we are also surrounded by because we live in Canada. So as you heard, we're all from different uh, Latin American countries. And when we write music, we love infusing that, like our knowledge in music from our countries and with the music here. In terms of genre names, um, we've created our own name for it because it's what we do is so it's so different. But so we call it rumba funk because it has the it's funky and it also has that. So funky is the um, the English part also element, the northwestern part, and then rumba is the Spanish fiesta part in it. Spanish Latin doesn't need to be Spanish per se, but yeah. So it's a beautiful mix that you guys have integrated into the group. Now, Ariana, you are the bass player. Now, how long? I am <laughs> <laughs> the bassist. <laughs> well, how long have you been playing bass? Yeah. When uh, did you into the I would ball? say about twenty. 20 plus years. Oh wow. Um, I started playing bass. I know. <laughs> I was playing in the room. <laughs> I I actually started playing bass by chance. Um, I my friend gave me a bass and I had it in the house and then someone said they needed a bass player and I was like, "Okay, how hard can it be? You know, I played guitar before before the bass." <laughs> And I gave it a try and I loved it and I haven't stopped. The rest is history. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of uh, demand for bassists in trucks. I wonder, uh, you're enjoying this group and I, I, I see you very integrated, you're very um, committed to this group and you enjoy what you do. Uh, do you ever thought that they will be, it will be like that? Um, well, not really, no, no. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of work, yes, it's a lot of work, a lot of headaches sometimes, but um, I love everyone in this band. Uh, right now we're sounding the best ever, so I'm very happy that, yeah. And I have to testify with that because this is the very first live that I've done and I love it. There, are, People are very enthusiastic, they're very into it, they're dancing, they're there. So, how about you? You've been playing with the drum for a little while now. Yeah, well, yeah I've been playing my whole life, basically. But uh, yeah, I'm like uh, 20 plus years uh, uh, prof like a professional, professionally. And uh, yeah, everything started like, you know, pots and pans, hitting, hitting pots and pans when I was like three years old or something like that. And yeah, that's my love. How, how long have you been with the group now? I've been with the group for two years, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is my second year with them. Yeah, it's been it's been great. It's been an amazing experience. These guys are so professional, and I'm so happy uh, to be sharing the stage with them. Uh, a lot of uh, fun and. And energy. And I noticed that everybody is like a family here. Everybody loves each other, and you guys are like brothers and sisters. So it doesn't feel like you are out of place. Now, I think the creator of this group is Dino. So how long have you had this group? Oh, the leader, you said? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I, oh, oh, the creator. Um, well, we've um, started the group with Oriana, actually. Oh wow! <laughs> a, a while back. I don't want to say how many years, but. Uh, that, that, that's okay. <laughs> But uh, we had different uh, uh, incarnations in the group. We, we had like three uh, different lineups, but this is the best lineup, I think. This is the best uh, that we've ever been. And uh, the music is, you know, um, it's sounding the, be the best it's ever been. And uh, I think we're, uh, we're finally clicking to the sound that we really want. <laughs> And I think it's doing great. Uh, what, one of the things that I love about what you guys do, you integrate English, Spanish, a little bit of East Eastern, a little bit of uh, everything. What did that idea came from? Well, the English and Spanish is again from what I was saying earlier about how we're Latinos, we're Hispanics, and then we're in Toronto. Right. And like it, it goes along with our name, um, which I don't. Santerias is a fusion of uh, different um, beliefs, right? And they believe in the healing of music through dance. So 
we definitely relate to that and as you can see we incorporate dance we incorporate English and and Spanish um, because again we're Latinos and we live in Toronto you got to do it like, yeah so you guys are coming out with a single uh, in the summer well in next two months uh, actually in the next month the first single of our upcoming album should be coming out so stay tuned and there will be another one to follow before the fall as well and then the album Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tell you much, but it's going to be exciting, it's going to look good, it's going to sound good. We're very, we're, we're, we're very happy and excited. Yeah. This is uh, a old, <laughs> well this is overdue, right? You guys have been working really hard towards this single and it's finally here and it's finally happened. Now for the people that are watching us all over the world and we have a lot of background music, I wanted to get a background song of their music here, uh, but I want to find out where can people find you and uh, uh, there will be links on down here uh, for people to reach out to them and if you are looking for somebody for your stage hey Santeria is a place to go so where can people <laughs> so where can people find you uh, well uh, you can call me at uh, no no I'm kidding you can find us on Facebook as Santeria's band and on Instagram as Santeria's band and on uh, where else? Website. Their website santerias.ca www.santerias.ca and you can find us in the radio maybe sometimes <laughs> hopefully soon <laughs> awesome so we'll have the links watch out everyone this group is happening and we have it right here on the Lizzie T show I want to thank everyone for watching big hello to everyone all over the world and that is a wrap thank you guys thank you. Thank you bye so much. thank you thank you Para 
ti para mí, por aquí, por allá, para ti, para mí, por aquí, por allá. 